Hello everyone, I'm Jinx Monsoon. And I'm Ben De La Creme. And I'm Jinx Monsoon. And we are here to celebrate the premiere of Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar. Available everywhere that you rent movies. First of all, I want to talk about our gorgeous, stunning surroundings, which are inspired by the film. Uh, because, you know, I felt, after I saw this film, I mean, all, all of us have been, we, I mean, we've all been stuck in quarantine. I don't know, I mean, you know, some of us have been in Puerto Vallarta or whatever, but most of us have been stuck in quarantine for the better part of a year. And, um, and so Barb and Star, I felt, really gave me that little, like, taste of travel that I've been missing so much, and I was inspired to bring it, bring it to my home. Do you smell those seashells? Ah, uh, you smell those cockles and mussels? <laughs> mm, what an aroma. Ah. I love the beach so much. I love to just put my pantyhose in the sand and feel it like, sort of, you know, imagine the sand between my toes. And I love to just, ugh. I, I the, you know, the shriek of the gulls, nothing more relaxing. I have not laughed this hard at a movie out loud in a decade. <laughs> I feel similarly. <laughs> Dink Munson, I have to say that I was watching this film and my mouth was agape. My maw was agape. I was just sitting there collecting flies because um, this, I feel like, is the film that we have all been waiting for. You know, all the heterosexual gentlemen, they have their, um, their, like, Austin uh, Powers. They have their Austin Powers. -zzzz. Any fucking Adam Sandler's movie. All the, all the, uh, you know, you know, that fella. But, um, but <laughs> we, we, queer individuals, and also, I'm pretty sure most of the ladies of planet Earth have been waiting for the film that planet captures Earth. all of this madcap mayhem, but, like, specifically, um, geared to us. Like, I don't have to watch, um, straight guys, uh, do anything, basically, in this movie, except for the one really hot one. I would, uh... I would let that male lead just have me, just, you know, you know, fold me up and just stick me in his pocket forever. I really, I just, I thought that it was laugh out loud funny. The cast is incredible. The writing is incredible. And really each scene is better than the last. They all get, like it starts here and then it goes out of frame immediately. It's amazing how many turns this movie takes. I don't want to give too much away because it's I want to talk about, I want to, there's a villain. There's a villain, you guys, and we can't say anything about the villain. Because. But there is an incredible villain. Because this film. And there's too many. This film is part. Come on, it's come on, come on. Okay. Let's talk for a moment about this duo. Okay, so this is Kristen Wiig and Annie Mamolo. And they not only co-starred in and co-wrote this film, sound like another pair of ladies, you know, um, but they also co-wrote the film Bridesmaids. Because obviously they were so incredible in writing Bridesmaids. And now we actually get to see the on-screen chemistry that leads to all of that, those bonkers, amazing scripts, right? And, you know, Here's the other thing, Dink, is that Bridesmaids is amazing. I mean, if any of you have seen Bridesmaids, you are gonna love Barb and Star. But Barb and Star also, it's like Bridesmaids is like, it's like it gave them the confidence to go absolutely bonkers. It's like it, it's like Bridesmaids was so good that they were like, oh, okay, now there are no more rules and we're gonna go absolutely bananas. It's just really awe-inspiring for me, you know, as a writer and a performer myself, I, I look at these amazing women, this impenetrable duo. <laughs> and I just, just inspired. That, I just feel inspired. I just feel inspired. Are you just saying inspired. things that are the opposite of you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so very pen penetrable. Um, anyway, I just, I, I, I think anything's possible because these amazing women have made two amazing films. And this one really speaks to me. I feel like it has a lot of drag aesthetic in it. 
Well, which which one do you think it's Kristen or, or Annie who goes to all the drag shows for research? Oh, I fully believe that both of them are <laughs> like they're they're in deep with our people because the camp is real. It is absolutely, I mean, it is up there with like the, with all of the sort of like campiest drag films you've ever seen. The, the rules are off. They just, they just go for it. And it is, and it's delightful. I asked you this um, right after we watched the movie, but I want to ask you in front of an audience. Please. Are you? I hope someone's watching. Who in, with us? Who's the Barb and who's the star? Because I, I'm the I, Barb. I, I, I thought I thought you were the Barb. Oh my Barb! <laughs> I'm the Barb. <laughs> I happen to bring with me a clip from the film. I know, I know. I'm gonna get sand in it. Shouldn't have brought it to the beach. Let's watch this clip from Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. Did you see that restaurant? I'm so excited, it's almost time for dinner. And time for a cocktail? Stop! Okay, you go into the bathroom, I'll lay out a bottom on top. You know what we should wear tonight? Our evening culottes. <laughs> and then there's always evening culottes, you know? There's for always special evening culottes. You know, I have to say, <laughs> I, I think Barb and Star are actually gonna change contemporary fashion. I mean, I think that in the coming months, we're going to see a lot more like big teased out like curler hair. We're gonna see like some really like colorful flowy tops, but like for comfort, you know, right? Just bright, you know, just cool and warming. Um, just, um, you know, like just fun, fun, loose fitting. Barb and Star, of course, fashion icons for our modern era, obviously. But the villain in this film, I have, I felt so seen. The first time I watched this film, Jinx, I turned to my film viewing partner and I said, Jinx Monsoon is gonna be in that outfit in a month. This villain is, I mean, if a drag queen doesn't start cosplaying as the villain, then what is drag, really? So Barb and Star are incredibly excited about, uh, about their evening culottes. <laughs> and uh, I just, like, you know, we were saying before, but I really think we are going to start seeing culottes aplenty this next season. If, you know, on the fashion runways, et cetera, et cetera. I am so glad that, uh, that Star was so bold as to suggest that uh, she and uh, Barb have a cocktail. Cheers, Jinx, cheers one more time. <laughs> <laughs> right now, there's my little flamingo. There are some amazing cameos in this film. Countless amazing performers. We've got oh and cool hot spoilers. Spoiler alert, Jinx! Please, you can't keep spoiling things. You can't keep spoiling things like the fact. They'll <laughs> bleep it all. I love Barbara Star so much. Ah! This is the film version of Dolly Parton. That's what this is. Whether you're a 40-year-old mother of three or a 14-year-old gay boy, there's a film for you now. This is this <laughs> is a film that the whole family can watch together if the mom is middle-aged and midwestern and the child is a homosexual. Yeah. This is like a this is that kind of Widows. family friendly. Film. Widows would also relate to this film. Widows are gonna love this film. Uh, divorcees. Divorcees. Um, uh, shellfish. Oysters. Lobsters. Well, I hope that we have wet your whistles to check out this fabulous film. I'm Jinx Monsoon. And I'm Bendela Crown. And I'm Jinx Monsoon. And we highly endorse this film. So go watch Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. Available wherever you rent your films. Go, watch it. Go, go. Oh, Barb. <laughs> <laughs>